Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to unbox filters, lens filters, for the Canon EOS R10. Now it's 55 millimeters. How do you know if what millimeters you need? It's on the end of your lens. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and unbox or unbag the Altura uh, lenses. This I did buy on Amazon. I'll put a link down below in case you're interested. And in the bag you have some cleaning cloth, the magic fiber cleaning cloth. Mm -hmm. We have dear customer. Thank you for buying our stuff. Oh, by the way, we're on YouTube. <laughs> So we'll put that there. It has a nice little carrying case. We'll go ahead and open that up. Ooh, look at that. Dun, dun, dun. In each of these little pouches, we have a lens. One, two, and three. Now, what are the three lenses? Well, this one is, let's take it out of the bag here. This one is an ND4, put that in there. The next one is CPL, CPL? I forget what that stands for right now. Huh. Anyway, CPL. Um, I think this is the one that if you take a picture in Windows, it'll take the glare off and then you have a UV filter or kind of a clear filter. Now, this is very important to put on the end of your camera lens simply because number one, it does, it does cut down on that sun flare a little bit, but also it really does protect the end of your lens. Even if you're just gonna get one, get a clear or a UV filter, for the size of your lens. And quite honestly, these filters, although they're not exactly you know cheap, but they're not super expensive, but they're a lot less expensive than a lens. So make sure you get a filter. Try to get a good one, alrighty? With that said, let's go ahead and put this on and see how it works. Okay, now with the filters, they're very easy to put on. They have little threads on the back side of the filter and on the inside of the lens itself. Now I know it's kind of nerve wracking if you've never done this before on a DSLR. You know, these lenses are pretty expensive, actually very expensive for me. And you know, you don't want to be touching the lens, but you're getting close to it. So yes, it's a little nerve wracking, but trust me, <laughs> once you put the uh, lens cover, I mean lens on, filter on, it's going to be, a lot easier. So all you do, just line it up and then just stop screwing righty tighty lefty loosey until it's nice and snug and that's it. That's all there is to it. And then of course if you're out in the field this filter will take the blunt of anything that could be splashed up on it or you know rocks or pebbles hitting it. So this would break a lot easier than your lens would. <laughs> so, and of course, again, it's a lot cheaper to replace the, the filter. And just to give an example, this is without the UV filter. And this is with the UV filter. Without the CPL filter. And with the CPL filter. Huge difference. As you can see, Almost all of the glare is gone. You can see right into the vehicle. And this is without an ND filter. And this is with an ND4 filter. Now, of course, with a four, it's not that big of a difference, but you can see a little bit. It's kind of like a little bit of a sun glass, shade glass, and it does bring it down a stop or two. And what I've noticed is like an ND filter does tend to bring out a little more of the colors. 
and make things pop just a little bit. Well, I hope that helped. If you have any other questions, go ahead and put it in the comment below. And myself or someone else will be more than happy to help you. And as always, have a great day.